All right. Uh, Andrew says, hey, John and Dave, I almost got caught and have a solution. I was filing away some text documents and PDFs from my desktop into subfolders that are created for such things like that on my startup drive. However, I run a clone of my startup drive to an external SSD using carbon copy cloner every day. And being a good Mac, my machine automatically indexes the external SSD. I then use Spotlight to find the folders I was looking for instead of first navigating to the folder directly. That's why I got caught. Spotlight found the folder on my cloned external SSD. I then copied the files over to it, which is no bueno, because the next day those files would have been deleted because they were not on the source volume anymore. Yeah. Um, the tip off is, is as easy to fix this problem. Open system preferences, Spotlight, choose the privacy tab and include any clone drives or other drives that might cause this issue. Of course, you won't be able to use Spotlight to search those volumes, but that's fine in this case. I suppose I could have used CCC safety net feature, but that is just a fail safe and I prefer not to. Here's how you can avoid this. Uh, unless you're actively doing a backup, I don't think you want your clone drive to be mounted. So I find telling, uh, so what I do on both my machines is as soon as Carbon Copy Cloner is done, I go to, um, they have a, a post flight section. So I go to post flight, destination volume, unmount the destination volume. So it'll kick the drive out as soon as it's done. Uh, I will say this, I agree with you 100% and I have Carbon Copy Cloner ejected, but I also want it ejected before Carbon Copy Cloner runs the first time after reboot and my drives always want to mount at boot up. So... Mm. I wrote a little Apple script. So the, the Apple script is, is four lines. It is delay and then 15. So I do de a 15 second delay uh, just so, you know, the other things can like settle and then the script runs. And then I do, I, I, the next line is try because if it fails, you don't want it to like, you know, catastrophically like interrupt you. And then it's do shell script and the shell script is a disk util unmount command.